Should I call you Dimitri or Vegas? <laughs> Dimitri, Dimitri is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Dimitri, hey, congratulations on your new film, Hazard. Thank you, thank you. Such a such a thrill ride, uh, to, to say the least. But we have to hear it from you. Is what initially drew you that you wanted to do uh, the movie Hazard? Well, the thing is, uh, Jonas, we were going back and forth already for a while, like just giving opinions on on projects and ideas. And all of a sudden, he he sent me the script, which was absolutely bonkers. And and somewhere in the middle of the script, I kind of hit him up on WhatsApp, and I'm like, "When do I actually leave the car?" And he's like, "Oh well, no, yeah. When does the character leave the car?" Actually, he's like, "It's like actually." He doesn't. I'm like, whoa, that's that's crazy. And and I really loved it. I'm like, dude, this is this is so original. This is really something else. And and I kind of expected him to maybe offer me a smaller role or or something. And he's like, did you feel like doing the lead? So I was super honored and and super excited to to jump into that. So so how did you prepare yourself to be? And I I want to say you were in that car ninety to ninety five percent of the of the shoots that was intense yeah yeah I get there's no different way to put it like me and that car got very acquainted <laughs> there was actually three cars but yeah so 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 physically how challenging was it to be you know in that car the whole the whole time for for that entire production it yeah it, it was it was different like the yeah, you know, like because also especially a lot of scenes had to be done direct straight to the camera because there wouldn't be room for the for the passenger. Um, but Jonas always had this thing because you know, like when you sit in the car the whole day, you just kind of it's hard to not get lethargic in a way. So every time when we had like a a bit of a, a power scene, it's like Dimitri out of the car, go do some laps, and he just made me run a couple of laps like like some weirdo around the around the scene and then just like i'd be like completely pumped up get in the car and, and be like yeah now did you have to uh do any special preparations for uh for you know to to learn how to drive a, i want to say in the film it's a lexus but you said it was three different cars um for something like this yeah no uh to be oh, honest uh, uh you don't see a lot of the outside of the car mm -hmm. um so that's why there were three each had a, a specific um, goal, but we had a very good team, a very creative stunt team uh, who actually built like sort of a go-car on top of the car. Mm -hmm. uh, so I actually had guidance of, of, of the craziest drivers for all those uh, scenes, but actually the steering wheel, everything worked simultaneously. So that's why it looks so real. Um, so yeah, I don't want to take full credit. I, I really love how everybody's like, oh, Dimitri, you're, you're a great driver. And somehow I'm always tempted to be like, thank you. But I just, just I, I have to be honest. Yeah, I got, I got help. <laughs> so, so, so honestly, was there any scenes at all that you were driving the car? Yes. Yes. Yeah, there was one car that that's, that's me driving, but it's the, uh, it's like the crazy over the top scenes were with help uh, because you know, like the whole the whole movie's actually shot in traffic in Antwerp. So luckily we had those guys. So we only had a few almost accidents. So if uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we had we had a couple of close calls. So how how comfortable was uh, did they make it uh, for you to be in the in the cars, especially that Lexus? I want to say it is a Lexus in, <laughs> in the film. It is a Lexus, yeah. Uh, well, it's as comfortable as you can see. Yeah, it's just like it was a whole lot of sitting. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell um, you 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 have a lot of uh, scenes with uh, um, I I don't want to mispronounce his name, Jer Jerome, who who play who plays Carlo. Yeah, Jerome, tell, yeah. Tell, tell us about uh, acting alongside with him because because there's a lot of scenes that you actually had with him. He's great, you know. Like I. He's such a talented guy because he's really chill. Like you wouldn't think when you see his character, but he's like the chillest, most relaxed dude. Uh, and I saw 
quite some of his stuff before we met. Uh, I think we met briefly on the set of Gangster, uh, but we never really connected. Uh, but we sort of hit it off from from the from the first day, and I I got a lot of mentorship from him also, like him and and Jonas, the director. I re really made me feel safe and confident, and and I'm really grateful for that. Now, of course, you had a physical scene um, with them in the car, and I have no idea how how you guys actually pulled that off. Uh, I, I I bet the car wasn't moving, or was it moving <laughs> when that actually? It was moving. Wow! <laughs> All driving is real. So 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 I, so when 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 he he had basically physical you know tick for tap in the car with you. The driving was actually happening and you're acting at the same time with the physicality. But then the guy on top was uh, assisting. <laughs> what was his, It was not scary for you at all in, in, the, in that case. There's been a couple of times where I was like, whoa, but it helps the acting. So <laughs> especially in that scene, <laughs> obviously, yeah. No, it was, it was, yeah, but it just was also intense. And, and the good thing was that since the system is so good, everything that happens happens simultaneously. It just all felt real to me. Like I never kind of stopped to think that there was somebody on, on top of the car helping me because it just like felt like I was driving. Great, great. And and I and I don't want to uh, reveal the ending, but I do actually have to say that uh, you you had a, a um, I want to say a behind the scene production in a water tank. How challenging was that? It, it, it is a it is obviously a water tank, but of course, you know, everything yeah. is all in the in the vehicle. I, I, I would say for me, that was the, the, the trickiest part of, of, of the movie. Uh, I think I was underwater for what? eight hours for a couple of days just sitting there with like the the oxygen waiting for action oxygen out doing the scene oxygen back in waiting that was yeah yeah i can't say those were the most fun days of the shoot no, for sure not it so so how do you prep for something something like that uh, for for yourself personally We shot that part, uh, I think, three months after the actual shoot of the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, because there were some issues around that because the plan was first to do it differently. And then it turned out that our ambitions, our ambitions were a bit big for the original plan. And then they found a new solution. And then uh, coincidentally, that crazy water studio uh, was here in Belgium and um, I kind of just went into it like I got like one hour diving class I'm like sure it'll be fine and I'm just like yeah yeah and then during the days I'm like shit dude nobody nobody didn't tell me I had to go through this but uh but yeah afterwards I was happy with the result <laughs> and it, it looked like a lot of fun you you put yourself in a lot of danger and a lot of uh fast cars and water tank scenes and everything so dimitri tell us uh what's next are you are you on tour now or are you or are you still uh acting uh combination um i actually was supposed to shoot a couple of projects uh, in the beginning of the year uh but everything kind of got pushed with the whole uh strike thing and everything so now of course as it always happens, I've got two things that I somehow need to fit in my summer, but my summer is like every Wednesday we're playing Ibiza and I have four to six shows a week uh, from June till October. So it's going to be an interesting challenge uh, getting everything done, but, but I love doing it. So, so I'm, I'm hoping we can make everything work. I have no idea how you balance all, you know, being a being a world renowned DJ and acting at the same time, but it seems like you love you love all of the stuff. Yeah, I think the most important part is that you love what what you do, and then then you'll make it work. And I and we could tell when you when you put all the effort into this film, Hazard. So, Dimitri, thank you very much for speaking thank to you. us.
Hopefully okay. we get to do this again. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.